Bill, junk, Bill, Bill, junk. What's this? A baby shower. I know the perfect gift, and it'll be more than a card. Hi, I'm Christina with MyPagesTalk.com, and we all know I'm the Speaking Up Recorder Girl. So for this baby gift, I am going to use a Speaking Up 30 Second Voice Recorder. Now the Speaking Up Recorders have acid-free paper cover, so we can paint right over the top of these with any type of paint, or you can stamp on them, ink on them any way. I always like to start at the bottom end where there aren't any speaker holes. That way if I've got excess paint on my brush, I don't have to worry about it gooping down inside. So once we're done painting that, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of paper to the top of the recorder. And you can just hook this down using any type of adhesive. And I'm just going to add it right here to this bottom end. It's fine to cover up the speaker hole some. After we've got our paper on here, I want to add a little bit of white paint around the border and a little bit to the front just to give it more of a softer look. Now once that's done, we're going to set it aside to let it dry for a minute and we're going to make this really personal. So I told you it was a little boy and I also know that his name is going to be Cade. So I'm going to take this little chipboard circle that I've painted white and inked around the edges and I'm going to stamp the letter C on it. Now to do this, I'm using the C30 Do It Yourself Monogram Stamper from Just Right Stampers. I've been able to place a C along with the border of my choice for this project. All I need to do is release the stamp center it right over my chipboard circle and give it a nice press and voila, I have a perfect C. I wanted to use a brown ink, so to change the ink pad, all you need to do is press in these red buttons and push down slightly till you hear it click. The ink pad slides right out and you can apply any color ink that you would like to use with your project. Here's my finished recorder with the ink and everything that I would like on it. I've got my C on my chipboard and I've just attached it to a flower and then I can simply just place it right on top of the recorder and my recorder is all done. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to make a card that will house this recorder along with a couple other great goodies. To make my card, I got a piece of foam core and I cut it to the size I wanted my card to be. In this case, that's about five and a half by seven and a half inches. I then cut a pattern piece of paper to the same size and I simply adhered it to the top of the foam core. The next thing I'm going to do is make my spot for the voice recorder. So we're going to trace around the voice recorder with a pencil and once that's been done we're going to bring in a sharp craft knife and you want to make sure it's nice and sharp. Take your time and cut through each layer of the foam core. There's about three layers, the top, the bottom, and the center. And we have the perfect place to put the voice recorder. So for the rest of the embellishments that we're going to need for the card, I'm going to be using the C45 Do-It-Yourself Monogram Stamper. Now I've got our little kindergarten shapes here. We're going to be doing a square, a circle, and a rectangle. On the rectangle, I want to stamp the word for you. So I've placed the letters I needed on my C45. And again, I've inked it with the brown ink. And I just want to kind of center that on, give it a push, and there's our for you. For the circle, I'd like to do the baby's full name, which is Cade Bryce Current. So I've got the letters all in my stamp here, but I would like to put a neat little border on to outline the circle. So I just push this in, held down my little red buttons on the side, and this allows me to add a fun little border. Now this stamp set also comes with lots of different borders, letters, and fonts, all kinds of fun stuff that you can do. Okay, now that that's been pressed in, we're going to go ahead and release our stamp and we are going to center this right over our circle. You want to give it a nice firm press. So now we have Cade Bryce Current stamped on the circle. Our final shape that we're going to do is the square and I'd like to stamp the word boy. I went ahead and placed it in my C45. So we'll simply do the same thing again. We'll center it over our square and there we have boy. Here's my stamped elements and I added a couple things just to give them a little bit more umph. I added the word baby to boy and I also added a couple cute little pictures. I added some ribbon to my monogram and I added some buttons and ribbon to my chipboard tag. So let's put everything together and see how this is going to work. I'm going to bring in my cut piece of foam core and I'm going to stick it on the back of a card. Now don't worry about the sizes because it will all be in our design guide for you. We'll stick this down and then we're going to take this little strip and we're going to adhere it right up here to the top. 
On this side, I'm going to make a pocket to put something really special. So we want to make sure to leave the top open. So when we adhere this, remember you only want to put your adhesive along the two sides and the bottom. You'll notice I pulled my scallop scissors out of hiding and I made a cute little scalloped edge here at the top. And that's going to carry over to the birth announcements that we've made for this expecting mom. The great part is with my computer, I just simply pre-printed some places for this mom to fill out what she'd like people to know about her little baby. And over here on the side, there's plenty of room to put a photo. Then on the front, we'll take our monogram with the ribbon and we'll put it right here on the side. So the last thing we need for our birth announcements is a way for her to mail these out to her friends. So I've got an envelope here, and before I stamp on it, I want to take that border off of my stamp. So I'm going to push this down, click it into place, and I do want to clean it before I take it off so I don't get my hands all inked. So to do that, I'm just going to get a scratch piece of paper and just in a swirling motion, rub it until I don't see any more ink. And then I'll simply grab it and pull it off. Now I have just the baby's initials to stamp on my envelope. Release the stamp. There we go. Here's our fully decorated card. What I've done is added a piece of paper to the front, did a little bit more inking, and punched some holes through both edges to add some ribbon. I applied the For You, and let's see what the inside looks like. Our little pocket with our announcements. Now, of course, we would do several of these to add so that she can send them to all of her friends and family. Now what are we going to do with the recorder? It's sitting there, it looks cute, we need to record a message to the expectant mother. To do that, I'm going to switch this to the enable position. If you haven't seen me record before, you can check out the Sounds of the Season webisode. So we're going to push the red button and record our message. Hey Adrian, I'm so excited for you. You're going to be such a great mom. I want you to take this Speak Enough recorder to your next baby's appointment and get his heartbeat before he's born. Or you can even take it to the hospital and capture his very first cries. Love you lots. So I've got my message on there. I've put the instructions inside so she'll know just how to use it. I've disabled the switch temporarily so that she'll be able to reuse it when she's ready. And now we can put it in here. And I think I'm ready to go to a baby shower and be the talk of the shower. So before the baby comes the wedding. Here's another version of the more than a card. You could do it as a wedding gift and they could take the recorder and capture parts of their ceremony or maybe even the toast. Remember earlier I told you about capturing a baby's heartbeat? Here's an example of this. I had my friend take this to the ultrasound appointment. I decorated it really cute, put the bead of my heart, and there's her little baby's heartbeat. Another thing that you can do, in my family I made a message center. I decorated each recorder different and added an initial for our name and this is a fun way for us to leave messages to one another and it's simply just attached to some magnets. So remember that little baby Cade? Here's the scrapbook page with his very first cries. I really liked being the talk of the shower. What do you want to be the talk of? See you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.